just trying to find you gonna stay in Houston, bro? Huh? Who, who, who are you, the police? Really? Oh, so now you curse me, you big bad man. Come to a point where, you know, there's a situation and you really got to call it what it is. I'll give you a good example of that. That movie Rambo, Sylvester Stallone, there's a point where Rambo's in the like police station and it's like held up and, you know, he did his thing. He like, he, he blew up the town, he took over guy, beat him up. But it came to the point where they called in the military and everybody's outside of the police station and it's just like the the I believe it was the general, he's like, guys, guys, it's over. Like Rambo, like you know, stop it. Stop everybody stop it. I think James Harden is sort of getting to that point where he's been holding up the Houston Rockets and it's just like now it's like stop it. It's time to stop this. The writing's on the wall. It's time to stop. This is what being impetuous and being immature gets you. Last season, James Harden said he would request for a trade if they did not trade Chris Paul for Russell Westbrook. He held the, the Houston Rockets hostage last season. This season, the man doesn't come to training camp. He has to pass. He has to have six negative results to even come into training camp. Leaving his teammates to hold the bag and answer questions about his future, not the team's future. He's talking about he wants to go somewhere else. Well, a new turn of events. He doesn't just want to go to the Nets anymore. He's open to the Bucks, Miami Heat. All of a sudden. He was like, die hard this, die hard that. Send me to Brooklyn. Now he's seeing the, the reality of what's going on. He is an entitled little baby. And he is throwing a temper tantrum of epic proportion, which is killing his trade value and quality. Now, some people might say this, all right? Some people might say this. And I've seen people say this. If he goes and gets traded and wins a championship, nobody's going to say he didn't do this or he didn't do that or, you know, what he did to Houston. Dog. And they compared it to Anthony Davis. Because you remember what Anthony Davis did? He he, he showed up, but he, people felt like he wasn't doing his job. He showed up to play. Some games he didn't play. Yada, yada. But a lot of people didn't like the way that he handled it in New Orleans. But the difference is, New Orleans didn't give Anthony Davis every single thing that he wanted. New Orleans didn't get held up hostage twice by Anthony Davis and stuff like this. Like, the Houston Rockets compared to the New Orleans Pelicans, this is like a world-class organization compared to the Pelicans. So they did a lot more for Harden than they did for Anthony Davis. So you can understand Anthony Davis' angst. But what James Harden is doing... It's beyond disagreeable. And what's crazy is not one single player that a lot of people have interviewed, from Stephen A. Smith to the Chris Moussards, not one of them are saying, or, or Nick Wright, not one of them are saying, yo, Nick Wright, I think Harden's right. Yo, Chris Moussard, I think he's right. Yo, Stephen A., I think he's, none of them are backing James Harden what he's doing. James Harden has two choices. He could get help. He could he could try to hold people hostage, but get that money fined and ruin his reputation. Or he could come play. You know, he requested a trade, see what they can do, and that's it. Or you know, shit, fuck, retire. <laughs> that's another option. The man's thirty years old. You know, of course he wants to win a, a title. He's saying that he wants to be on a contending team. You are the contending team. You just haven't played up the par. Every year, James Harden shows up to camp. Fat and out of shape. You know, he regular, like, preseason looks good. Couple First couple games of the season, he looks great. And then you start seeing him being out of shape all of a sudden. He can't play any defense. His defense is, is not really impactful. It's not because he can't play. It's because he doesn't put in effort. You know what I'm saying? He's, there's no effort on um, defense for him to try to be a lockdown guy, try to hold somebody up. None of that. So, 
the fact that you hold the Houston Rockets hostage last year, now you're holding them hostage again this year, hasn't even spoken to the coach, man requested a trade as soon as they got rid of Dan Tony or whatever. It's 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 sad, man. It's sad. And I think now, more than ever, he needs to realize this. You're due forty million in the next couple of years. Forty one to forty four million. Nobody's gonna be able to give you that money if you try to go to make a form of super team. And now what it's boiling down to is nobody wants to play with James Harden. From Dwight Howard, Chris Paul, to Russell Westbrook, your boy, your boy asked for a trade. Your boy asked for a trade. So the writer's on the wall. He just has to stop it. There has to be something to change within his mind frame. Even Kobe and T-Mac, the two guys that I can really say, if, they, if there were any two players to really understand James Harden, it would be Kobe and T-Mac because them boys just have to shoot it a lot, handle it a lot. Get criticized a whole heck of a lot. Even they don't agree with how James Harden plays the way, that game of basketball. So if, if those guys that have been in your shoes before are telling you that, you need to change something. Because everybody keeps saying he's a 30-plus point game scorer. He does this. This is all regular season. When in the playoffs have you really seen James Harden consistently give you 34 points per game? You know you don't. You haven't. You haven't. Who's that show? Who's me? Super like, comment, subscribe.